Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg. These are all incredible prominent individuals who are often the point of reference for tech geniuses who made incredible innovations without a computer science degree. And just like these guys. Today, I'm going to tell you how you can become a software engineer. And who knows, you too may also develop outstanding innovations. My name is Sukomi Jati, a software engineer at the Bob Africa. And here is how you can become a software engineer without a computer science degree. First thing you need to do is identify why exactly you want to become a software engineer. Before deciding to become a software engineer, you must first identify why you want to go down this career path. This step is just as crucial for a young person with no work experience as it is just for a much older person wishing to switch careers. There is a rave around IT today, translating to excellent work conditions, substantial African salaries, and a very promising job outlook. And rightfully so, as technology falls our world. But why these are great reasons to be a software engineer, it is important to be genuinely passionate about technology. This is because regardless of the field you choose to specialize in, it will certainly be a tedious learning process and your genuine love for it will provide a significant boost and keep you going. The next thing is research and choose a field. After making sure you are choosing software engineering for the right reasons, it is time to do some research. Software engineering is a considerably large field and there are so many career paths you could choose from. Do some online research and speak to mid-level software engineers in different specialization. Access the information you gather and figure out the careers that align with your strengths, goals, and interests. If you excel in visuals and have some interest in design, you may have a great chance of excelling in front-end development rather than back-end. If your research narrows you down to two or more careers, try conducting some more extensive research on each one. Additionally, you could take advantage of learning resources in any of this field and try learning them. This will further narrow your selection to a single role. More than anything, you want to make sure you enjoy whatever area you choose to specialize in. The next thing is to enroll in a software engineering training. You have decided on a role you would like to pursue. Now it is time to learn in earnest. Why you can decide to be self-taught and learning using the resources on the internet. This method may not work for everyone as it requires strong self-discipline and may just not be the ideal learning method for most people. This is why I recommend tech fellowships coding schools or boot camps. Yes, enrolling in any of this program, particularly Fellowship at the Bob, provides an intensive training experience, a chance to collaborate with peers and engage physically with mentors. Some learning programs such as our fellowship also offer internship opportunities that provide work experience and a chance for fellows to secure full-time employment. Next thing, is work on projects and build a strong portfolio. Since you don't have a university degree, a solid portfolio containing your most outstanding work is the only sure way to land a job and succeed as a software engineer. Don't wait to finish learning before you start working on projects. Not only is it impossible to finish learning as tech is a constantly evolving field, but choosing not to work on projects will slow down your learning process. As you pick up new skills in your training, put them to work. This will accelerate your learning process, enhance your skills, and boost your portfolio. Oh yes, it's a win-win game. 
contribute to open source projects and grow your skill with it. Practice as much as possible. It will not be easy, so don't expect it to be. However, with consistent practice and learning, you will do fascinating work and build a complete portfolio. Acquire some experience via internship or volunteering. While contributing to open source projects, you can give a massive boost to your portfolio by gaining some work experience as well. Consider interning or volunteering at companies based in industries that align with your overall goals. As an intern or volunteer, you get to work in teams building exciting projects and learn from senior software engineers. It is also a great way to give your career a significant head start, build solid relationship in your preferred industry and possibly gain full-time employment opportunities. Now you need to set up a personal website to showcase your work. Yes, it's a digital world, and since you have chosen to work in an industry powered by a technology, the regular paper series will simply not do. As a software engineer in today's world, having your project on digital platform is as good as a resume. And it's even more important for people without a computer science degree. Setting up a personal website gives recruiters or anyone interested in your work the ability to visit the site and visit your project with ease. Now your website should include carefully selected projects, professional experience, skills, awards, certifications or licenses and an about me session that briefly describes who you are now that we've done all this you need to build your network and join a community you probably know the saying no man is an island of course it's very much applies in this case as well the power of communities cannot be overemphasized by joining a software engineering community you can rapidly grow your skills, stay on top of the latest trends, and build strong relationships with industry peers and experts. As an active member of a community, you get to build your network and possibly gain a mentor along the way. Becoming a software engineer can be a tasking journey, particularly if you don't have a computer science degree. But this shouldn't discourage you. In fact, Major companies like Google and Apple no longer have a university degree as a requirement. So, as long as you apply yourself and put in the hard work to build your skills, you can exceed your expectations, become an outstanding software engineer. The key is to practice as much as possible and never stop learning. As usual, the Bob Africa is here to help you through it all. Visit our description box below to join the waitlist for our fellowship program and subscribe to our channel to get more exciting tech career tips and insights.